following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... It is time now to introduce you to our Roanoke Valley SBCA Pet of the Week. Kathleen Legg is joining us today to introduce us to Hook. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so tell us about this. He's a he's laying down right now, yes. but he's a big boy. He is. He's a Great Pyrenees and Labradoodle mix, four years old. And what's unique about him is that most dogs come to us without a backstory. But with him, we know that he came from Mississippi, and also the previous owners sent a letter with him. And so it kind of tells you what he likes to do, what he used to do. And so it kind of gives you kind of a personalized letter about who he is. Oh, that's good to kind of know a little bit yes. about him beforehand. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll tell you, standing on all fours, he's up. He's pretty, pretty tall. Pretty tall. Yeah. So he, get on all four. Yeah, on he his weighs back about legs. 98 pounds, so he's a big hunk. Yeah, he's, he's mm -hmm. going to be a big boy. Now, what do folks want to need to know if they want to make him part of their family? He really likes to be outside. Every single time he goes outside, his wag is tailing nonstop. So anybody who likes to go on long walks or hikes, it's the perfect dog for them. And if they want to come and adopt him, come out and see you at the SPCA. Yeah, we're open from noon to 6 p.m. He'll be available tomorrow, not okay. today. So on Saturday, he'll be available. And if you have any other dogs at home or kids, bring them in so we can have a meet and greet and make sure everything is going to work out in the future. All right, now you're talking about him being an outside door, and a lot of folks like to get outside with mm -hmm. their pets this time of the year to go for a hike. What do they need to know, especially in these hot and humid days, to make sure their little guys are going to be okay. So you want to make sure you have enough water, not only for you, but for your dog as well, because they can get heat stroke. And also, you want to have some of their own food. Just like humans, they can work up an appetite. And you want to make sure it's their usual food, because if it's treats, it can upset their stomach. And you also want to have their identification tags on them. So if they do, unfortunately, get away from you, people can help you find them again. And anything you need to do beforehand to make sure they're they're prepped and ready to go? Make sure they have a good night's sleep, have plenty of food and water before you go up as well. Because they're probably going to tire out a little bit faster. They than will, they yes. All right. Good information. Kathleen, thank you so much for coming in. No problem. And, and talking to us this morning. Do you want to tell you our pet is sponsored by Nature's Emporium, and they invite you to come out and see the store. Let your pet, their ex, uh, let their pet experts help you choose the right pet food, treats, and toys. They're located at 3912 Brambleton Avenue, or you can give them a call at 772-1980.